vlogging is all about storytelling and oftentimes there are stories that you could be telling while you're actually driving to your destination but I think the challenge that a lot of people run into is how do you keep your camera secure while you're driving you know holding a selfie stick or something like that uh, it's not going to be safe you really should have both hands on your steering, steering wheel while you're driving so a uh, you know stick is not going to work very well uh, but I found a really cool solution to be able to rig up your camera in your car and you could even use this to rig up a smartphone so if you want to vlog with your professional camera with your smartphone whatever the case might be I'm going to show you my setup so that you could go ahead and use this for your next video Welcome back to Alpha Universe. My name is Miguel Quiles and I'm driving right now through Red Rock Canyon and it's beautiful out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Every single time I come to Las Vegas, rather than doing all the typical touristy stuff, I always come out to Red Rock Canyon and just drive and I'll have the music off. I'll have, you know, no videos or anything playing just so that I could sit and think and be bored a little bit, but also just take in everything that I'm seeing around me. So how am I getting this video right now? I'm driving about 57 miles per hour. As you could tell, the cameras should be hopefully really nice and steady. I'm filming this entire sequence right now using the Sony FX3 and I'm using the 24 to 70 G Master version 2. Really good lens to be able to do this, uh, you know, travel vlog style of video. The way that I have it rigged up, and I'll show you here in the video, the mount that I'm using inside of the car to keep this camera steady is made by a company called Rig Wheels. Uh, it uses rare earth magnets to be able to uh, mount to the top of your camera and also on the bottom, uh, using your quarter 20 threads on the bottom and a magic arm. And then also on the top, you've got a uh, cold shoe adapter that's basically holding the camera steady on top. So you've got two points of contact, they keep the camera really nice and steady while you're driving. I'm not sure exactly what the speed is that it's rated for, but I, you know, on this drive, I've been going between 50 and 70 miles per hour, which is probably about as fast as most people would be going uh, if they're shooting video on the go like this. And as you could tell, it's pretty steady. This road is not uh, the nicest, most uh, you know, perfectly paved road either. So. If you're hearing any type of bumps in the audio, that's probably why it's a, a pretty beat up road. Uh, but that's actually what I'm using to rig up my camera in the car and it's super steady. What's also nice about this is, let's say if you have a Xperia device, if you end up getting the vlogging kit for the Xperia phone, let's say if you have an Xperia 1 Mark IV, Xperia Pro I, any of the models that are compatible with this uh, vlogging monitor kit, you're actually able to connect this exact same rig onto the smartphone and then you could use the vlogging monitor in the front just to make sure that you're framed up properly and that everything is looking good. Um, on this camera setup that I have, by the way, on the FX3, I also have a variable ND filter on the front. So as I'm driving around, I'm really trying to be aware and cognizant of the lighting, what it looks like, make sure that, uh, you know, if I'm changing my orientation of how I'm driving and a lot of sunlight is coming into the car, you know, it's possible, like right now, my hands are probably overexposed. So, you know, you might want to bring your ND filter and just kind of rotate it until uh, you end up getting something that looks a little bit better. So that variable ND filter is really, really important when you're vlogging on the go as well. As far as audio goes, by the way, I do have a, uh, I'll put the model number of the microphone pack that I'm using right now. Um, you could use something like that and it's really great. If let's say you have two people that you're driving in the car with and you want to get audio uh, from both people at the same time, you can easily use that mic pack and it works really well. You uh, couldn't really get away with a shotgun mic because of the fact that this rig is uh, mounted into the cold shoe. But if you have, let's say a camera cage or something like that, that maybe adds an additional uh, mount to the cage, then you have the ability maybe to connect like a shotgun microphone. Uh, but honestly, a lavalier, I think, is really the easiest way. I've got it just sitting on the dash right here. It's not moving around. Works beautifully. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about the setup, let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to Alpha Universe if you haven't already, because we've got new videos releasing every single week. Now, on this topic of vlogging, there's a lot of really great videos here on the channel, but I think that 
this video here will kind of give you a little bit of a head start on how you can start vlogging on your own. So check it out and I'll see you there.